It's your girl Yayo, and I'm back with a new motherfucking video. I feel like I look like a little boy. I don't got no lashes on. And today, yo, I'm really excited. Like, I'm so excited because it's been a long journey, you feel me? And I've wanted a vlogging camera for so long, and I finally got it, and I got the one that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Very much so blessed and happy. Ah! <laughs> y'all see her? Do y'all see her? So I got the PowerShot G7X Mark II. Boom, that's what she looks like. I bought her off of Amazon just because, I don't know. But I will be putting the link in the description box so you guys can get exactly this one. The G7 HR system, 1.0 type, 20.1 megapixels, 24 millimeter wide. Um, it has an f-stop from 1.8 to 2.8, and it is Wi-Fi certified. Cause this is a moment, okay? This is a moment. Oh. And it opens like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Okay, so it's time to this. And then the first thing in here is my warranty, which I love keeping warranty for everything that I buy just in case something happens. This is to register your camera now. And then this is a little guide that I love. Well, I don't love reading a guide, but I like to read it just so I know everything about my camera compartment here. So do I take this off? Yeah, so I take off that compartment. And then, so there's like a little, um, a little bin, okay. I come in a little bin, so when I put her in my jar, I can put, put the little bin in my jar. So it has this like, it has this like, you know, protective. Oh. Alright, we're we'll gonna do this so we can both see it together. Oh, oh my gosh, she is so beautiful. y'all she is gorgeous oh my god look at the little mm, so i can look at myself this way like mm. so that's my battery and then the sd side okay it's in the same area oh and then on the side it has a button for the flash all right oh oh so you can hold her this way do what you gotta do like that so she is definitely a lot easier to like handle Cause I know I hate vlogging with my camera like I that's why I don't log and then my phone is just annoying I'm trying to figure out the flip screen oh okay so I just flipped it up boom bop <laughs> yeah y'all so right now I'm at the ah! all right I'm a little too hype so that's what she looks like in the back you know when she's flipped up this is what she looks like in the front where she's flipped up I take her out the bin, and then the next thing in the box, so it comes with a battery. Oh, this is definitely a smaller battery. I was hoping it was the same battery as my EOS Rebel because I have like three of them, so it'd just be easier to handle everything. A battery charger. Ooh, this is supposed to be easy the bag. It's a battery in a plastic bag to prevent weight. And then it has a little strap so you can strap it on your wrist. I wonder if this battery is already like energized, you know what I mean? We're about to find out. Okay. And then where are my other SD cards? I have like a little SD card, little thingy my bobber. So, is that the right way? Let's try the other way. Oh, there you go. Now the battery click thing. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's on the right side. What the? Oh, it's not charged. Why would y'all do that to me? Oh, yes it is. Yes it is, yes it is. It just turned on y'all, it just turned on. Okay, so it opened up to the um to the date and time. What day is it? What? What day in space are we? It is April 13th. Oh God, what the fuck? Oh, okay, it's 547. Okay, so it is touch screen. 21, honey boo boo. Come on, hatch up. Five. When it says 550, we gonna press next. I ain't have to do this on my EOS Rebel. Come on, girl. We recording a video here. <laughs> now time wanna be stuck. Show me all these different time zones. Where the hell is New York? New York, okay. 550. Uh, oh yeah, this is lit, y'all. Ooh, so you can tap? 
and focus. I hear the shutter readjusting. Okay, she's in pretty far. I want to set her to video. Hey y'all, so this is my first clip on my Canon G7X Mark II and my battery's about to die because it didn't come charged but she looks so crisp. Woo! That's what the motion looks like. The lighting looks bomb. This looks fire. Yeah, so let me just end this, this little clip now before my battery dies on me and it don't save. Oh my god, y'all, this camera is more fire than I expected it to be. Okay, so she's about to die on me, so I'm just gonna turn her off and I'm going to charge the battery. Three hours later. Okay, y'all, so this is me filming on the camera on my brand new camera with just regular indoor light. This camera has great lighting, like, it has great tracking, autofocus. All that like you see how smooth it is tracking me mm hmm so it is a very smooth camera I love the lighting like I feel like it's grabbing the like perfect amount of light so there's a dial right at the top right to change how much light is going through the lens it's called the ISO um, it's a little hard to like get from the front well I think I got used to it now but you see how I can just bring the lighting down. Boop, now it's dark, so it's perfect if you have a lot of light. And you can bring it all the way up. And it looks like I have a ring light, but I don't. I'm honestly, I feel like I like this camera better than my EOS, my Rebel T6i. Um, it's super lightweight. I have it on the tripod right now, um, and I feel like this tracking is just great. I feel like this could be a great vlogging camera. So you know what we're gonna try right now. Hopefully I don't get mugged. So I'm gonna take some trash downstairs. I'm gonna vlog that and see how it vlogs at nighttime. Like it is nighttime, but I mean like in the dark. I'm a little tired. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the way the light changes. So you guys see here, I'm in a room with lights somewhat. This lighting is not even that good and it looks great on camera. Now watch as I step into my dark ass hallway. Ooh, that scared me. Ooh, this looks like a scary movie. Okay. Okay, so let me just take out a bag of trash. So as you guys can see, the lighting is still pretty great. I'm outside in the dark. This looks amazing. Wow. I just wanted to test out how this would look like in different LED lights. So, oh it that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my God. I didn't even do that. I just grabbed my phone and it went red. <gasps> okay. So right now I turned on my LED lights and I turned off my room light. This is red. It's still like amazing. Like it looks great. And I'm sorry, I keep looking up. I'm looking at the viewfinder so I can actually see what the footage looks like. Um, we already saw blue. This is like a turquoise kind of thing. You see how it just the lights automatically. Well, not the lights, but the lighting. Um, this is green. It's looking great. This is like an indigo. Y'all, um, my bright, my lights weren't even all the way turned on. Y'all, this looks great. So as you guys can see right here, I did some close-up shots to see how it would look. This camera is not really good for B-roll footage. If you're trying to do like close-ups and stuff like that, I would recommend another camera like the EOS Rebel or an iPhone camera for closer up shots. But once you move it up back a little bit, it does look great and the lighting is awesome like I mentioned before. So as you can see, it just doesn't catch details from close-up. Okay, y'all, so my final verdict about this camera, 
I love it. I feel like the tracking is amazing. It's perfect for motion shots. It's perfect for, you know, moving around a lot and like, you know, when you're just not stable, you know? Um, I feel like this is a perfect YouTuber camera. Like, I feel like my inner, well, I'm already a YouTuber. I feel like now I'm just gonna be able to flourish and grow even more. What I don't like is the buttons are kind of hard to get to from the front. Like, getting to the back button, adjusting the light can be a little bit difficult from here. But, you know, that's probably something that I would just have to get used to a week or two in. I feel like I'll probably get it down packed. I love the flip camera because you can like flip it as you're shooting. She is still heavy enough where I don't think I'm gonna just drop her, but she's still light enough where it's like easy to hold a tripod up in my camera. I hope that this video kind of helps. I feel like sometimes when I watch these unboxing videos, they don't really show you like what the quality of it really is. Um, and they just talk to you about a whole bunch of specs and who the f cares about that stuff. So for all you new YouTubers out there who you know, just want to get into the game and start vlogging, make sure to click the link in my description to get your camera because it just helps me a lot you know i get some coins from that and you know bitch a, co a bitch is a broke college student okay so that'll help me a lot thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up <sighs> hopefully you know hopefully you guys subscribe to my channel and i hope you guys leave a comment down below as to either something that you would like to watch next or some question that you may have and i'm gonna try to answer it i mean i try to respond to all of my comments sometimes i just really don't be seeing them but yeah thank you guys for stopping by i love y'all